from your kind of background, it's impossible to rise again. You are rising again. The theme is Holy Spirit for manifestation. Holy Spirit for manifestation. That's the theme. Today we are taking part one. Many don't know the person of the Holy Spirit. They don't know who he is. The model of God the Father, the Son, with him. The model the three. God the Holy Spirit is part of the Godhead, the third in Trinity. It's not less than God, it's equal with God. We have God the Father, we have God the Son, and we have God the Holy Spirit. During the five nights of glory, the last edition, I said, we don't worship multiple gods in Christianity, but each one has a function. One man can be a husband, one man can be a man, and one man can be a father. To the wife, it's a husband. To the children, it's a father. Is that true? And then to his own father, it's a son, one man. That does not change him, but the same person. To his own father, it's a son. To his wife, it's a husband. To the children, it's a father. It's three persons, but it's the same person. That's how God is. It's one God, but it depends on how he manifests. Are you getting what I'm saying now? We don't worship multiple gods. It's one God. But the same God is the father. The same God is the son. The same God is a, depending on how you know how to distinct each one. But today on earth, you have to know the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, you'll be limited. In John chapter 14 and verse 16, Jesus speaking in John 14 and 16. He said, I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Jesus said, I've been with you for 33 and a half years. I'm going away. But another one will come. We will not live again. He will be with you forever. So, who Jesus was to the disciples is who the Holy Spirit is to us today. He said, that another one is coming who will do exactly what I'm doing now. So, permit me to this. Holy Spirit is Jesus unlimited. Jesus was one person on the earth, was with the disciples. He was not in Nigeria, he was in Israel. Is that clear? But he said, now I'm going to send you another person who will not just be like me, he will be everywhere at the same time. And he's not going to live forever. So let me put it in a very simple way, ABC. When the apostles had challenge, who did they run to? So now who do you run to? But many still run to Jesus. Say the truth. Say the truth. That's what we have to take. Many to say, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh. True? Huh? The person with the testament said, she asked the Holy Ghost to tell her where to read. Is that correct? Yes. But you know, many will say, Jesus, teach me where to read. Am I talking? Because you don't know who the person of the Holy Spirit is. Hear me and hear me where the Holy Spirit is a person. He is not an it, I-T. He is capital H-I-M. It's not a wind. It's not a dove. And the Holy Spirit is not a fire. It's a person, not merely a presence. It's a person who has a presence. He talks. He thinks. He plans. He comforts. A 
In John 16 verse 13. Let me come very practical. Have you ever slept? And a hand touched you to wake up. It's him. It's a person. You look like there's nobody, but one hand just tapped you. Either evil wants to happen to you, you are dreaming or some attack, and then a hand just touched you. He's the one that touched you. It's a person. It's not a feeling. It's not emotions. It's a... But if you don't know him, you wonder who touched you. From today, he will reveal himself to you. In John chapter 16 and verse 13, how be it when he, did you see that? He don't say he if, if it's not a person. When he, the spirit of truth is come. You know he has to come already. Jesus was speaking this when he was on earth. He will guide you into what? A truth. For he shall not speak of himself, so he speaks. But what somebody shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things. That's why somebody can say, show me where the exams is coming. And he could show. From today, we show you something ahead of you. Amen. Yeah, this year, I mean, very well, is the voice of the Godhead. When you have somebody said, I heard from God, is the Holy Spirit. Is the one that speaks. Who speaks? You have somebody said, I heard God said to me. That voice you heard is the voice of the Holy Spirit. Is the one. Is the P-R-O of the Godhead. You know, in every organization, there's the P-R-O that talks. True? They say, well, our public relations officer make the statement. You see me, please. When there's a question, the public relations officer will come and address. True? Is the P-R-O of what? The Godhead. It's the one that speaks. It's the one that speaks to us. When you heard God said, is the one. In John 14, 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you what? All things, not only Bible, he will teach you all things. And from today, he will teach you all things. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. And bring all things to your remembrance. So what you have read, you'll be surprised, he will bring it back to you. And whatsoever I have said to you. It will teach you how many things. So Jesus said he is our mentor. That was, you know, who is your teacher? Your mentor. So Jesus said the Holy Spirit is our what? Mentor. And you know you go to a mentor for guidance. Even in the natural, you say that's my mentor. You say somebody say that's my political mentor. When I want to politics, I go for him for advice. So he is our mentor. Who should you go to for advice? Is the real mentor that every Christian should have. The pictures he presents to us is not him, but his workings. Because most times we make mistake of his pictures and think that that's the Holy Spirit. Is that clear? For instance, now it can enter your life like water refreshing you. That does not mean it's water. He enters the life. I feel this cold wind. It's like, mm. <laughs> you know, some religious people do it. Before you even pray, like, <laughs> shout hallelujah. That does not mean it's him. It's entering you like what? What? For I'll pour water upon him that is thirsty. In Isaiah 44, verse 3. It's the one who is pouring water. That's the only part of him. I'm going to explain to you. The floods upon the dry ground. I pour my spirit upon the seed and my blessing upon the offspring. It can enter you as what? Water to refresh you. So the water does not mean it's the Holy. So you don't use the water as the Holy Spirit. Do you understand me now? That is only to show that. Now, is the aroma the food? But that shows there's food. The water shows it's there. Does not mean that's the way that's him. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is the back in the dog? That shows there's a dog there. So the water entering you is not the Holy Spirit. That shows the Holy Spirit is there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you getting what I'm saying now? It can enter you like fire to purify you. Malachi 3, 1 to 3, as 2, 3 to 4. 
He can come like a wind, like a what? Can come like a wind. And then like in the day of Pentecost, he said, and a mighty rushing wind. As to two. All these pictures are not him. You know why? Some people, when they see the dove now, they say that's the Holy Spirit. Remember, he is a person. He's a what? Who has a presence. Talking about him is inexhaustible. Whether we talk the whole month about him, we can't exhaust him. His wisdom, his prosperity, his healing, his deliverance, everything is him. So to talk about the Holy Spirit, you, you will just say you're talking about the whole Bible. Can you finish the Bible? Till you die. You can't finish this Bible. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, the Holy Spirit see the door of Pentecost had been here. He has not gone to leave. <laughs> From the door of what? Pentecost. He has never gone on leave. He has been here. He said, I will send you, we shall abide with you forever. And when Pentecost day came, permanently he's been here. But hear this. God gave the gift of the Holy Spirit once on the day of Pentecost. He never took that gift back. Listen carefully. Our duty now is to receive him. Is to do what? Here is a young man. Nowhere in the Bible disciples ever ask, has God given you the Holy Ghost after Pentecost? Nowhere. Because many are still expecting. You will never, Peter, James, and John, and all, never ask anyone, has God given you the Holy Ghost? Never. They say, have you received the Holy Spirit? Is that clear, sir? Now, listen, Kevin. They only ask if they have received the Holy Ghost. In Acts chapter 19 and verse 2, for instance, he said unto them, have ye received the Holy Ghost? Since ye believed, and they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether. So many of us have not heard the teaching of the Holy Ghost, so we don't know him. Like these people, they were born again. But they say, We have not heard. No, many people don't know. Many Christians don't know about the Holy Ghost. Even pastors don't know about the Holy Ghost. They mistake Holy Ghost for Jesus. There are people who have never read a book on the Holy Spirit. The emphasis is not on God giving, but on God's people receiving. Acts chapter 2, verse 3. Shall we read again together? One to go. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost. Having what? Which what do we receive? Do you know, for instance, let me give an illustration. You don't pray for God to send salvation and save someone. You don't pray that kind of prayer. Why? God has already done that through Jesus Christ's death and resurrection. Is that true? You pray for the person to receive salvation. Because it has been done already. You don't pray for God to send healing to someone. You pray for that person to receive healing. So you don't pray for someone you pray for the person to receive the Holy Spirit. So I hear. Because he's here with you. If I've given you something, do you pray for it or you go to receive it? I bought something for you and I paid for it. Do you go to receive it or you pray for it? Simple. The Holy Ghost has been given to us. We don't pray for the Holy Spirit. We receive the Holy Spirit. Stay tuned. David Ibiumi will be right back. Follow David Ibiumi online for daily prophecies and wisdom quotes for living. Via Instagram at David underscore Ibiumi. Twitter at David Ibiumi. Facebook at David Ibiumi. You can also listen and subscribe to the David Ibiumi podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor FM, Google Podcasts, and much more. God bless you. My God, my God, supply all your needs. Like David Ibiomir to receive daily prayers and prophecies live on Facebook. Like 
and follow only David Ibiomia's official verified account. Remember, always look out for the verified icon. Welcome to Our Salvation with David Ibiomi. You don't pray for what has been given. You go to receive what has been given. So here. But the key scripture for the teaching throughout these days is 1 Corinthians 12 verse 7. That's where the message is taken from. Shall we read 1 Corinthians 12 verse 7? 1, 2, Go. For the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is given to pastors, given to evangelists, given to prophets, to every one of us, then why are you not profiting? Pastor, pray for me. Me, no, I'm not a pastor. The manifestation of the Spirit is given to everyone, not to some pastors, not so evangelists, every one of us. So if you are not manifesting it, then you, something is wrong somewhere. Clear? Are you among the everyone? I mean, among the everyone. Say from today, I'll pay, I'll pay the price. Shout like a child of God. The problem is there's no intense hunger and crave to know him. <laughs> Listen carefully, people of God. There has to be a hunger to know him as a person. That's why Christianity becomes sweet. Because what? The day you know the Holy Spirit, Christianity will be very sweet. You will enjoy Christianity. You enjoy what? When you know him, you enjoy Christianity. You, you, Christianity will become so simple. It's not complex. It's not what? The day you know him. Now, Paul was praying, Philippians 3 verse 10. Everybody look at this scripture. One, two, go. The first part. That I may, who is him? That I may know him. He was already an apostle. He said the revelation I have about him is too shallow. It's only shallow men that think they know enough of God. He said that I may know him. We pray for power. We don't pray to know him. And the power. Power is number two. Knowing him is number one. He said, look, I want to know him. That's why Paul could be thrown into the water and did not die in 24 hours. He, they beat, Paul fed, he slept in the deep. He said he slept where? All night. It was not a fish. He had deep revelation of the Holy Spirit. The stone Paul, stone Paul, stone Paul, shook Paul, thinking he was dead. As they left him, he got up to preach. He had deep insight on the person of the Holy Spirit. He wrote more on the Holy Spirit, himself and John. And they were mysterious people. You know, John Easter had it that he was in boiling uh, oil. Paul died when he wanted to die. He said, I finished my course. He was the one who decided to die. He was playing Ludo with dead. He said, do I go? Do I not go? To stay is better. I would have gone, but for your sake, let me stay small. That is, dead could not kill Paul. Paul was playing to bot to bot, boss, karabati, tarababos. He understood the Holy Spirit. So I hear. So, grave to know him. Grave to do what? Now listen carefully. If you, if you, are, if you are in this day's teaching, it's going to be teaching that will remove scale. Anything you don't crave for, you don't hunger for, God will never satisfy you with. I saw a lady called Catherine Kuman of blessed memory. This woman will just sink, 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 and then twisted, twisted people will just begin to unwind. 
She used to wear long gowns. She has the way she dresses. And then with high, very high shoes, then she'll go like this. Just slim and lanky woman. She just put her hand like this. Oh, I know when I died. Was born in one small village. I know the sad point I died. The miracles will begin to happen. I said, yeah. This kind of Christianity is different. And I saw a person she gave back to Benny Hinn. Benny Hinn will begin to sing. And Kripos will get up. I said, Chai, I like this thing. I was not born again. I had hundred and something VHS tapes of Benny Hinn as a sinner. I was buying them. It was Bible school days. I had a carton of his tapes. I would watch him like this. I would be enjoying it. It was the one that made me love Christianity before I became born again. I said, this Christianity is sweet. I said, why can't somebody be single like this people get healed? I didn't know one day to I'll be born again. <laughs> I, was just buy, I was buying them as a sinner. Buying them as a sinner. And when I became born again, brought up from the Cross background, which is faith. But I said, I still love this one to add to the one I have. It's what you want, God gives. So I said, what is the secret of this? No mortal man taught me. No mortal man taught me. One night, you know, it's what you want, God gives. By 2 a.m., I will never forget, you unveil the curtain. He said, this is the secret of Katukuman and Benihin. I said, true. I came to church, I said, I they began, I need the every hour. Tan, 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 most gracious. Miracles begin to happen. That's the way it started. Hello. Are you going to now? Very few people on earth operate in that grace. But I have a privilege of operating faith and that grace. Because many don't operate with faith. Based on your other teaching, I have faith and I operate with anointing. But the Holy Ghost will not manifest until there's a craving and hunger on your side. It's right here. Amen. Is that clear, sir? You know, when they want to serve you a five course meal, they first bring pepper soup, they bring some sweet, tiny bread. They don't bring big bread, they bring small bread. They will put some, 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 some things. If you go to a five-star restaurant, all they do is to increase the appetite. They will, they will be frying some small, small things, uh, finger, whatever they call them, and all those, so rishi, rishi, and then small, 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 small. <laughs> <laughs> they just whet your appetite, waiting for the meal. You say, where is the food coming? They say, we are coming. Fing, fing, they bring them. They say, be going on with this, go on with this. They steer you up to be hungry. When you take the people with the bread, they say, cho. When is the food, main food coming? He said, wait, we are coming. I'm staring you up so from tomorrow you can enter into the gate again. Yeah. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, so you can, you'll be hungry to know him. You want to know his person. You will not just think that Christianity is just carry church handle it. So, yes, me tamo, no. So, yes, me tamo, no. No, 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 no. Christianity has passed that. Amen. 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 <laughs> Christianity is more than. It's more than that shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, if you look at the ministry of Jesus, for instance, he did not enter into the miraculous until there was a manifestation of the Spirit. The Bible said they knew him as the son of the carpenter. Knew son of what? But when he began to operate in the anointing of the Holy Ghost, nobody called him son of carpenter. He was new, known as carpenter. There was no way again anybody ever referred to him as the carpenter. You are God's most prized possession. Your worth to him is incomparable. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. Not the sin, not the pain, not your shame. Jesus says, all that the Father giveth to me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will no wise cast out. 
John chapter 6 verse 37. God is waiting for you with open arms. Come to him as you are. He will give you life, freedom, peace, transformation. Wherever you are, pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from the dead to save me. Now with my mouth, I declare you Lord over my life. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' name. They worship together regularly at the temple each day. Met in small groups in homes for communion and shared meals with great joy and thankfulness. Acts 2, 4-6. In your daily pursuit of a fulfilling life, you need the support of a spiritual family. A heaven where you can enjoy spiritual comfort, a brook where you can be refreshed with God's word, and a military backup for fellow soldiers in Christ. Enjoy these and much more in the Cell Fellowship, designed as a close-knit setting for your personal revival, growth, and blessings. It exists in three structures, the Home Cell Fellowship, which is suited for everyone. The Corporate Cell Fellowship, which is convenient for corporate offices and organizations. And the Unique Cell Fellowship, which is made for students. No matter your preference, there is a place for you. Locate the nearest Cell Fellowship Center to you and begin reaping the benefits today. Follow David Ibiomi online for daily prophecies and wisdom quotes for living. Via Instagram at David underscore Ibiomi. Twitter at David Ibiomi. Facebook at David Ibiomi. You can also listen and subscribe to the David Ibiomi podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor FM, Google Podcasts, and much more. God bless you. My God, my God, supply all your needs. Like David Ibiomir to receive daily prayers and prophecies live on Facebook. Like and follow only David Ibiomir's official verified account. Remember, always look out for the verified icon. Join us next time on Hour of Salvation with David Ibiomi. This message was brought to you by Salvation Ministries, home of success.